Hello everybody. Welcome to History Lessons. I am Nilanjana Banerjee and today's topic is the Sangam Age. So what is the Sangam Age? The Sangam Age is considered as the landmark in the history of South India. The word Sangam is a Tamil form of the Sanskrit word Sangha which means an assembly or an association. Thus, the Sangha Mage refers to the period when a bulk of Tamil literature was composed by a body of Tamil scholars and poets in three successive literary gatherings called Sangha. Hence, Sangha meaning confluence refers to the gatherings of poets and birds. This took place between the 1st century BC and the 2nd century AD in the kingdom of Pandyas. These texts were called Sangam because they were supposed to have been composed and compiled in assemblies of poets that were held in the city of Madurai. Therefore, it is believed that the first Sangam was attended by gods and legendary sages but all its work have perished. The second Sangam attended by several poets produced a large mass of literature but only Tolpa, uh, Tolka Piyam by Tolpa, Tolka Pior, the oldest book of uh, Tamil grammar has survived. The third Sangam attended by many poets produced vast literature of which only a faction has survived. It is this fraction which constitutes the extant body of Sangam literature. The three kingdoms of Chiras, Pandyas and Cholas were always at war with one another. These words and heroic deaths form the, uh, form the themes of Sangam literature and according to these descriptions, Chiras had finally asserted their supremacy over the other two kingdoms. So what are the sources of information about the Sangam literature or the Sangam age? The first is the Tirukkural. It is one of the most celebrated works of the 18th, 18 minor works Patinen Kannuku of the Sangam literature written by Tiruvalluvar. The Tamil poet and philosopher Tirukkural or Kural is considered as a compound of the teachings of Dharma Shastra, Artha Shastra and Kama Sutra. It, comprise, it comprises a series of brief metrical proverbs on many aspects of life and religion and so it is a collection of tamil it is a collection of tamil couplets organized into 133 chapters each chapter has a specific subject ranging from plowing a piece of land to ruling a country it preaches simplicity and truth throughout its verses. The 133 chapters are grouped into three sections. First is Aram which means righteousness. Second is B, uh, Pural which means wealth and C, Inbam or Kamam, pleasure. So while Aram and Inbam discuss about ethical living in private life, Pural deals with public affairs. The second source is megaliths. Megaliths are box-like structures erected with the stone slabs resting on each other without any motor. Sometimes there was an opening cart into one of the sides. This acted either as burial sites or commemorative memorials, while some others are often found underground. Stone circles or boulders placed on the surface probably served as signposts to find the burial site so that people could return to the same place whenever they wanted to. Some megaliths contain more than one skeleton. This indicates that people belonging to the same family were buried on the same place though at different time periods. These are also known as memorial stones. These megaliths contain not only skeletons of the buried people but also contain grave goods including pottery and iron objects. These goods provide a 
useful insight about the life of people during the Sangam age. For example, the number of agricultural tools compared to those meant for uh, fishing and hunting are less. So it can be concluded that the Megalit people initially did not practice an advanced type of agriculture. From the grave goods, religious beliefs of the Megalit people can also be inferred. For example, the presence of tridents in the graves show their faith in Lord Shiva. Renowned historian Champaka Lakshmi has identified the Sangam age with the last phase of Megalith culture in the Tamil kingdom. She has uh, substantiated her viewpoint by correlating their settlements known from literature with the Megalith sites of the far south. This includes a subsistence base consisting of agriculture, cattle rearing and fishing, the use of iron and uh, use of iron in which warfare and weapons were important. So uh, as the syllabus has been reduced by the ICC board, my topic ends here. Thank you for watching. Please do like and subscribe the channel and thank you so much.